I'm Sam from Cut and Grind and I'm going to be cutting Marco's hair today. So off the top, uh, it gets quite big, yeah? It does, yeah. So I'm thinking fade. Definitely fade, yeah, 100%. Then, Skin, like, do you want foils or just a zero? Zero goes to stubble, foils goes to nothing. Foils. Foils, yeah, cool. I'm thinking like... I don't know about that much. Not that much of it, yeah. So really Make taking that bit, down. Keep the curls. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, the shorter what? I get, the more or less defined the curls are. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. With um, with these side bits coming out, would you rather have the shape of it coming quite square, or would you rather it come out a little bit? More squared. Cool. I look like a mushroom. You know? <laughs> right, okay, no problem, man. Oh yeah, we'll do the top first, and we'll work into the back and sides again. Right, so with curly hair. Like this, it's, you have to look at it completely differently because obviously it shrinks up so much. Right, so I'm going to start off around the back. So you find where, where the crown is sitting first. So I'm just going to begin by taking this bit slightly more inwards rather than uh, like so turning out because if he doesn't like the shape of it being so like looking like a mushroom then uh, having it square is a lot better for him So what I'm doing here is I'm I'm almost taking the shape so it will sit square as soon as the clippers come up to it it will be short to that point so when it when I come up with the clippers it will blend straight away and I'm also doing it I'm coming over first for example here I'll come over to create weight there because it's coming from the top over yeah and then with it, oh my god, a voice crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I come under after. That's to reduce the weight down. So it can blend into the shorter length. And also the reason I do the sides first is because then because I know he's going for a skin fade and I know he wants it shorter on top. So as soon as I come in here with it, take this bit short first. When I push that forward, that's gonna graduate over here. So I have to take this bit i'll be able to see where the short point is which is here so i've got to take this bit as short as this point here yeah that is a really untidy section then let's do that again i think my hair has ever felt so much hair in its life Mate, what? So much curl? <laughs> it looks well curling. You can see the top hairs here are going forward because I've I've tucked them in by scooping them under, so they're already been pushed forward. So when my clippers come like that, it will just flick right off, and then those bits will push forward. We've already discussed the length of the top. I'm going to do the same on here. I'm growing it, but I don't want to remove the legs. Whatever is sticking out. How much are we saving? About this much of it. So it will shrink up still, yeah? Cool. It's easier to see when it's wet. Exactly. When it's dry, it's easier to see, so then we can actually have a look. Because I don't want to. Stupid scissors. I don't want to, um, to come in and take too much off, and then when it dries, it just shrinks up. Because shrink up, yeah. now you can see, you've got your short point and your short point, and then your bit that needs to come off. See? That, that. 
So this, because it's curly, I'm just going to take the ends off this front a little bit, pulling it square. Let me focus, mate. just to take the stray ends off. So, I'm just gonna dry some clay in there, mate, okay? So then the top is pretty much done then, and then we can obviously work on the fade. Cool. Well, you gonna put press? Yeah. Can you explain why? Yeah. So I'm gonna put about that much product in, so it's not, I've got hairs, man. And then kind of set it to how you want it to look. So do you wear it up mainly or is it just sort of natural? It just naturally, naturally goes up. In, yeah. yeah, cool. So I'll put it like this to begin with. Yeah. So I'm gonna use the diffuser now, all right? I'm gonna put it on medium heat and low power, all right? And then just like pretty much just hold it over his head and just scrunch it a little bit. That's gonna just dry it into its like most natural state. It's got a little bits on it as well, so you can just... Let me know if it gets too hot, mate, yeah? Feels interesting, though, yeah? yeah? Now, obviously, we're just going to get the fade in there, okay? It's so. weird, because it looks good, even if I didn't shave my side. Exactly, because exactly. yeah. I blended it from the top onwards, yeah. yeah. But, obviously, you still want the fade, yeah? Yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Right, yeah, you sure? So now... We have our top length through this area here. That's where it connects. That's where I was saying it'll blend right into here, yeah? So if, with my 1.75 open, I'm just gonna come straight up into that. I'm just flicking that little area out. So I'm just gonna literally just bring it straight up to the top. Well, this side you might be able to see better. Just almost flicking it out around the top area. And also I'm not really focusing on that because I'm gonna grab it after anyway. Yeah, yeah. So then you can start to see where you, you know where I was pulling the weight down onto it. That's where it's going to be running from. And then I can scissor over comb that bit or clipper over comb after. I usually get that bit straight away. So we're going to go down to foils, yeah? Nice and tight. So how high do you, did you want the fade to be roughly? At the zero? Kind of like quite low and then like gradual. What would you think would look good? I would say like three fingers worth of it. So like around this sort of area, fade it right into it, it will come out nice. And the reason I've curved that bit so much is because I want a stronger edge up here. There's a dip here, I'm going to have to go up quite high on this bit. It's not. Such a weird feeling. Swear that, mate. The face is being ripped out. I know. Yeah, it's really strange. I can't have it done because my uh, my skin breaks out in other spots. I think mine might, but I can't. it should be okay. As long as you moisturise, maybe try to put like some cold water on your head when you get out of the shower and stuff. Yeah, it's a really good way of doing it. Give it moisturised next three four days. I'm gonna take a little top, um, what do you call it? Like a little bit out of it with a 0.5. Slightly different way of doing it. This is just to clear my space when I put my zero in. So that's my foils blended out into the trimmers. Now I'll just do my normal zero. 
up a tiny little bit into that, just so I can create my new line. So now you've got foils up to that and there's no lines. Now I'm going to do a 0.25 to bump it up a tiny bit more. So I'm pretty much fading up until I get to my 0.5 and then I start blending downwards. Then I have my, uh, my 0.5 guard now instead, so it's a small guard, the smallest one you can get. I'm going to blend, I'm going to flick out a little bit. Um, I'm going to open it very slightly, so then when you go into it with like a one guard or anything above that, it catches into the 0.5 a lot easier. I'm just flicking out with my 0.5 now, just like going in between mid, close, open, just until I'm happy. And then, <clears throat> I'm just going to soften up the top edge here, my weight. I'm just going to come in and go out slightly. Still going with that like, direction of movement to push it forward. And then, your edge on this top. Try and mark your top point first. And then come in and match it. So I'm just going to clear it with my zero or 0 0.5, whatever guard you want to do. Just to get the foils out of the way. And then this is just to get the foil line out. And then two five. So it's in between closed and open. Then like in between the closed and open once again. Maybe a little bit closed as well. Clip over combing this bulk at the back. I know I did this at the start as well, but if you was to if you wasn't doing that at the start, you'd be graduating the, the haircut differently. Because you're you're then going you're looking at the haircut completely differently because you're just coming square. So then as soon as you was to say if I was to come in take the, all of that off now, that would spread that graduation out and it would ruin my fade underneath. So now you've got that weight line running through there with all the curls. I think it looks nicer. Are you happy, mate? Yeah. Fantastic. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.